guys, welcome to Philly Sports Sports. This is a channel if you want to learn about Philadelphia sports or what is going on in the Philadelphia sports. Just for a second before I start, make sure to go follow Philly Sports Sports on Instagram at Philly underscore sports underscore ports underscore YT. <clears throat> Let's get started. This game was bad. Alright, that's what I'm going to say. Nothing like the Super Bowl. Totally different. Low scoring. Not a lot of action. I feel like Super Bowl 52, not being biased. I'm, I'm not being biased for this one. But I feel like Super Bowl 52 was the best Super Bowl in Super Bowl history. I don't know if you guys agree with that. I, I didn't really, I haven't really watched a lot of Super Bowls. Because, you know, I'm not old. So, basically, I think. Of the ones I've seen, I think that was the best Super Bowl of all time. I mean, maybe the 28-3 to comeback for the pitch. I don't want to talk about that. All right, uh, let's start with the game leaders. Uh, Carson Wentz, 20 for 40. 214 yards and a touchdown. That, that. Carson Wentz was not good today. I'm not going to sit here and say, Carson Wentz was the best player on the Eagles today. He's my MVP. He's not. I don't have an MVP today. I'm going to start off with that. But Carson Wentz was not good today. We needed him to be good if we wanted to beat the Patriots. He's never really played the Patriots before. He's never faced somebody before because that was Nick Foles back then when they played him. Um... So Carson Wentz was not good today in his debut versus the Patriots, but I'm not going to sit here and say he was the best. No, he was not good today. Miles Sanders had 11 carries and 38 yards. Uh, Miles Sanders is pretty good. I guess he only had 38 yards, though, so I guess he was not. Uh, whatever. He, I guess he was pretty good. He, uh... Skipped a couple tackles and stuff. He was, I guess you could say it was pretty good. And then Zach Ertz, nine receptions in 94 yards. He was the best receiver on the Eagles today. Nelson Aguilar has actually had some good uh, catches today. Yeah, he caught the ball. But he, again, can't catch the ball in the clutch. I cannot stress this enough. He cannot catch the ball in... He cannot catch the ball when he it's he can't be clutch. He's not a clutch player, okay? He's that guy that's gonna walk into the locker room and say, Hey, I'm not clutch. But you can throw to me even when I'm not clutch, I guess. I don't know. Um But basically that's what he is. He's not he can't catch the ball in a clutch. You can catch the ball when we don't really need him to. I mean, we always need him to catch the ball, but, like, we didn't really need him to catch the ball today. Uh, uh, he, he didn't really, like, it wasn't desperate to catch, catch the ball. He wasn't desperately needed to catch the ball. I mean, he should, so, this is making sense. He still should have caught the ball. He needs to catch every single ball he gets. But when he's in the clutch, we really need him to catch the ball at least to win the game. He isn't doing that. All right. Um, in the first quarter, Jake Elliott had a, uh, a field goal. Yeah, yeah. He had a field goal. A 51 yard. Uh, 51 yards. That was a pretty good uh, starting drive. Our points came in the first, like, five drives, maybe. What? We couldn't do anything except those first two drives. And then in the second quarter, 90, this was amazing. 10, 16 plays, 95 yards, and 9 minutes and 33 second drive? Holy crap, that is insane. Dallas got a five-yard pass from Carson Wentz. Uh, it looked like the Patriots guy took it away, and it was going to go to the Patriots. At least that was the initial call. That 
would have broken. I mean, it almost did because it was, it was almost true. But that would have broken my heart because that was amazing drive. Probably that might have been one of the best drives this season by the Eagles. Uh, so, yeah, that's something cool. But it almost ended in a bad ending. But it ended in a touchdown. And that was our only scoring today. We had, like, after the touchdown, there were about six straight drives that ended in a putt. There were about there were a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to say something. There was a lot of freaking punting in this game. If you like punting, this was your game, bro. Bro, this is your this is a game of the punting, all right? This was it. Uh, we lost seventeen to ten. If I haven't said the score yet, um, <laughs> so yeah, we let it halftime, but we couldn't. Obviously, we couldn't hold on to that lead. Uh, we were the underdog, obviously, because here in Philadelphia, we uh, like being the underdog. Uh, the attendance was 96.796, which is a sellout, obviously. The capacity is 69,696, so it was over capacity. It's probably like standing room only seats, I guess. Dallas won today, of course, so uh, yeah. We're in second place. 500 record. We are, what's our record? Freaking 5 and 5. Oh, can we just admire the box score for a second? Our rushing yards. JJ. He's not even on here. He had no action today. He was active. He just, he didn't do anything. Was he even on the uh, grass? Was he even on the field? I didn't even see him on the field. It was only Miles Sanders and what's this guy? Boston Scott. Why are we playing someone? We're playing a team from Boston. All right, a Boston team. We we hate Boston. I don't, I don't think if you know that by now, but we no one likes Boston. Boston is dumb. And we're playing a we're playing the Boston football team, and we're our uh someone that had seven carries, twenty six yards. Had a uh, his first name is Boston. I don't want to talk about that, but Jay Jai isn't even on here. I don't even think he's on the freaking what's it called uh the field. I don't even think he was on the field, which is a little upsetting. Jordan Matthews. One reception. One. My main point was this game. Gave the ball to JJ, which he wasn't even on the field. And Jordan Matthews gave him action. Action. We uh didn't we did not do that. <laughs> we did not do any of those. Yeah. So Bad game, bad, 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 bad game. Uh, freaking Edelman with a trick play. They're just rubbing in our face now. I mean, people kept on saying, uh, out at school in our gym lockers, um, I was asking people, hey, who do you think is going to win on Sunday? The Eagles or the Patriots? And they said, a lot of them said the Eagles. And I said, why? And I said, and they said, because we beat them before in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Is it, does that make a difference? No, that didn't mean anything in this game. Uh, I don't really know who's going to win this game. I was kind of thinking that in the beginning of the year when I made my little prediction and stuff, I didn't post it on here because I didn't want to. Uh, I said the Eagles are going to be 13-3, and three, which obviously they're not. They have lost five games. But they're not going to beat the Patriots. They're going to lose to the Patriots. 
and I forget the other game that they're gonna lose. Who are they gonna lose to? I forget who else they were gonna lose to. Um, but I knew they were gonna lose to the Patriots, and they were gonna lose to the Giants in that last game because that does, didn't mean anything. They were gonna make it to the playoffs. As the one seed, and yeah, uh, I thought they were gonna be good. They're, they're not. <laughs> they are. They are not. They're not a very good team. Which I think they could have been. But they're not. Um, I think I said they were gonna lose to Green Bay. Maybe I've. But next week we play the Seahawks. This is uh this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be real fun. Um, can we just point out something that um the Giants are two and eight and the Redskins are one and nine. You love to see it, folks. Um, the Eagles couldn't do anything. All right. They, they couldn't do anything. They could outrun the ball. They could outpass the ball. Now, Nelson Aguilar can catch. No one can catch except Deshaun Jackson, who has been out. He's out for the rest of the season. So, I mean, people were feeling positive, I guess. But we did not come out on top. The early lead, we blew it Uh Doug Peterson was bad too. I, I want to point to now. Uh, Carson Wentz was sacked five times. Am I gonna blame the O line? <laughs> kinda, kinda. After uh, Lane Johnson, who has a concussion, no, uh, no one knows. There's no report on how long he's going to be out for. There's no report on that yet. Um, but after Lane went out, uh, five sacks on Carson Wentz. Do I think it's the O-line's fault because we did not have Lane? Uh, Jason Peters went down in this game. Nelson Aguilar went down late in this game. It was just... It was it was bad. It was, uh, it was really... It was really bad. This game was really horrendous. So, uh... Me and my dad have been to two Eagles games this year, and he went with my mom to one game. So my dad has been to three of the five games this year. He went to what's it called? He went to me and my dad went to the first game, and then my dad was with my mom versus the Jets, and then I was oh, and then I went with him uh, during the Bears game. Um, so they won all those games, the Lion game and the, and this game, we, we were not at, <laughs> and they lost, so I think I'm the, me and my dad are the good, I think my dad's a good luck charm, because I wasn't at that just game, so, just a little, th just a little theory for you guys today, um, freaking, what's his face, um, Brendan Graham going into the locker room. We'll be all right. Saying that to the media. What? No, no, you won't. You will not be all right. And that's what we're going to end this video. Make sure you like this video. If you really like this video. If you if you didn't like the video, I don't care. Press the dislike button. I don't give a crap. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like. If you... Love my channel. You want to watch me succeed in life. <laughs> By the way, the Sixers played this afternoon. I did not watch that game because I didn't even know they were playing. But if you if you want to see me succeed, I guess I guess you could say that. Uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, turn on post notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Philly underscore sports underscore reports underscore YT. If anyone actually, I can't ask that question because I found one. I'm making a website when probably next week. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Oh, leave your thoughts in the comments about this game and about the future of the Eagles. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.